Okay, guys, uh, today we're going to look at uh, another type of uh, integration, which is the the integral of f of x to the power 1 uh, to the power m sort of multiplied by a uh, derivative of f of x. So this uh, form is equal to uh, f of x to the power 1 plus 1 uh, divided by n plus 1. So these are uh, the integral of uh, this number. So other guys they are complaining that I'm doing a simple a uh, simple example. So then I choose to, uh, this uh, question is more like a complex, but uh, it's the same as uh, this uh, complex. So first of all, uh, you're going to add uh, simplified uh, this uh, equation. So this equation said integrate uh, f of uh, integrate as uh, cos squared minus cos uh, sine squared uh, all over the square root of a uh, sine uh, two x minus Four. So then uh, this integral, what you can you do here, we'll start by simplifying uh, this integral. So to make it uh, in uh, this uh, form. Then. So here we're going to say the cos uh, 2 uh, cos uh, squared minus x is equal to cos uh, 2, okay, it's cos 2x. Ne? This is the identity of cos uh, 2x. Uh, then uh, we're going to say it uh, divided by uh, uh into uh, sine sine uh, 2 x minus a uh, 4 to the power 1 over a uh, 2 in, uh, which is uh, the square root so to remove uh, this uh the to remove uh, this uh division a uh, sign we're going to say that this number will be equal to uh, sine sine 2 x minus 4 to the power minus 1 over 2 multiplied by cos 2x no. then dy over okay then a dx so now uh, this uh, equation is in uh, this form now our f of x f of x is a uh, 2 uh, is sine uh, 2x minus 4 then this one is f of x then to the power uh, n is a uh, minus 1 over 2 multiplied by uh, the derivative of f of x uh, which is a cos uh, 2x ne? so what you're going to do uh, here is uh, to do uh, the same method that we did in uh, last one we're going to say let, uh, let u equals to the value of f of x this one is f of x ne? so this one is f of x uh, to uh, is f of x to the power n multiplied by the derivative of f of x. Now, so here yeah, this one is our f of x. We're going to say let u uh, u is equal to uh, sine sine two x minus four. So then uh, the derivative of this number we're going to derive uh, this one. We're going to say dy over dx will be equal to the derivative of co uh, of a sine two x is equal to two cos two x then constant number is equal to zero. Now, then we're going to make dx uh, the subject of the formula. So dx will be equal to then we du all over two cos uh, two x. Now, okay. So then uh, now we're going to uh, substitute uh, du in uh, this equation now so uh, when you substitute uh, du in uh, to this equation I will be, I'm running out of space here then let me write it here so we're going to have uh, this be equal to this one is the value of u then to the power minus 1 over 2 and say we say the uh, sine 2x minus 4 is equal to u now multiplied by cos uh, 2x uh, then uh, multiplied by dx uh, dx is equal to du over cos of 2 cos 2x ne? so then now these two will cancel uh, this other two then we remain with 1 over 1 uh, we remain with uh, 2 u to the power 1 over 2 and then uh, we remove uh, this uh, one because we're going to have we remove this 2 we're going to have 1 over 2 then the integral of u minus 1 over 2 and then and now we're going to apply the, the uh, this uh, formula the standard integration of um, of u and then in this one now we derive in terms of u because we have changed dx in terms of a uh, du and then uh, to integrate uh, this uh, number 
So it's going to be, we're going to add one here, add one, then we divide it by one over two plus one. Now, so therefore we're going to have our final answer. Now, okay, let me arrive at this side. Let me erase this uh, side. Okay, let me erase this side. And then uh, this our final answer is going to have one over two uh, multiplied by u to the power minus one. Uh, okay, positive. No? Positive one over two divided by one over two plus a uh, sim. Then uh, now uh, this one cancel the other one. Then our final answer we're going to substitute the value of u. Remember, say that the value of u is assigned uh, to x minus four to the power one over two. Then plus c. Then this one is our final answer. Or you can say that the square root of to remove this one over two or else we leave it uh, like this so then uh, this is uh, how we integrate uh, in uh, this uh, form so these are types of f of x to the power n multiplied by the derivative of f of x this uh, f of x uh, this equation when you derive uh, this equation is also this equation so we started by simplifying uh, this uh, number we say the uh, cos squared x minus a uh, sine uh, squared is equals to uh, cos uh, squared uh, cos 2x now. this is the identity of uh, this number and then you divide it by uh, then we remove the square root sign the square sign which is 1 over 2 and then uh, we change this uh, we remove this uh, fraction form then when you remove this fraction form our power here is it becomes negative 1 over 2 cos x mm -hmm. then uh, we let u equals to this one then if you check uh, this uh, number, it is uh, the derivative of uh, this number. That's why here they say the f of x is multiplied by the derivative of f of x. So if you derive uh, two sine uh, two x, we're going to have a uh, cos uh, two x, but it's going to be two cos two x. That's why we have one over two x. And then uh, multiplied by the derivative of uh, this number, and then we cancel. Yeah, we cancel 2 sine 2x and then uh, we cancel uh, 2x and then we remain with 1 over uh, 2 is then uh, the integral of u to the power of minus uh, u to the power of negative 1. Then uh, the standard integral we add 1, we add 1. And then we're going to have uh, 1 over 2 multiplied by a uh, u to the power of 1 over 2 divided by 1 over 2. Then this one. Uh, cancel the each other to give us one then uh, our final answer we substitute back the value of u which is assigned uh, to x minus two then uh, this is uh, the form of uh, f of x to the power n multiplied by uh, uh, the square uh, multiplied by the derivative of a sign of f of x so hope uh, you will subscribe and uh, give it a thumbs up